Hi, Jim Jims. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Gemini placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles, take what resonates. Leave it doesn't fit for your situation, okay? Anything you need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. All right, so make sure you check that out. And let's tap into your energy. Let's see what's going on, okay? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Let's see what is going on here with my gem gems. What do they need to hear and know at this time? Let's see, Gemini. What's going on for my Gemini collective spirit? Love, okay, deep affection. Endings completely done. Uh, Self-destruct mode. And wishing, hoping, dreaming, okay. Bottom of the deck is the X. Still not over it, making it work, shut out, okay. So I feel like I was getting that energy, uh, Gemini, that you love somebody, but you could be ending this, sh ending this shit with them because they're just not giving you what you want, right? Self-destruct, they're, they're doing some sort of self, um, self-sabotaging, okay? Because they're in like la-la land here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, I heard. You could have Pisces in your chart somewhere, I don't know, Scorpio. Somebody here could be a bartender or somebody could like drink a lot, Okay. But yeah, I feel like somebody's like in La La Land. They just think like, that, what's that? A genie in a bottle or uh, what do you call them things? Because Aladdin had one. I, I don't know what that's called. But it's just like somebody wants something to fall in their lap. And I feel like they're going to have to get up and do it. All this wishing, hoping, dreaming. That's like being stuck in La La Land here. <laughs> like if you love somebody, you're going to have to show it with your actions. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody is not doing that. So you could be completely ending things with this person. Even though you love them, you care about them, there's deep affection. You could love somebody and be at a distance from them. You know, know that they're not good for you. Okay, that's, people do it all the time. It's very much so a real and normal thing to do. It's better to have it that way than to fucking end a connection that is, um, it, you know, when it get crazy and shit like that. Yeah, the devil. The devil, the high priestess. Hmm. Um, I'm also getting somebody here could be ending a relationship for you because there is so much love. But let's see, what is this love here? Deep affection. Okay, yeah, the Fool and the Star. Could be a strong Aquarius here, a Leo. Yeah, but, like, this is what I was saying at first. <laughs> okay, um, damn, the Fool and the Star. Somebody's a strong Aquarius here. So I feel, I feel like, you know, with this Uranus energy, get ready for unexpected twists and turns and changes here when it comes down to your love life or the person that you love or whatever. Okay, somebody here is too scared to take a leap of faith. With the fool in reverse, there could be some distractions around this person, okay, or you, or whatever. But the fool is definitely, like, in reverse. It's like somebody's scared to take a leap or somebody refusing to take a leap, right? I'm getting, too, there could be some sort of, like, reckless energy here, okay? With the star in reverse, I feel like you feel a lack of inspiration. You feel bored or things are pretty, like, stagnant. Um... It's just, I don't know, a relationship here is just not uplifting you how you would want it to or how you need it to, right? There's the star versus like a bad omen too. It's like something not turning out in your favor. Okay, like a wish not being granted, something that you wish for. This could just to be too like you're losing faith in someone in, in a love or in your love life in general. You're a magician. You're a person. Yeah, you're manifesting your person, the, meaning the person meant for you. So if it's not this person, then that's okay. Like you got to be okay with embracing the unknown, the moon with the three of wands. 
Yeah, so something here is just challenging. Somebody here, their pride could be in the way. They could have a big ego or something. What's the strength card? This could be some sort of challenges. You and this person could have some sort of obstacles or challenges to face, or you have a lot of obstacles and challenges to face in order to get to a really like nice connection. What's the strength card? Yeah, the five of swords. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So there could be somebody in the background like playing around and shit too. Somebody, someone could have an Aquarius Venus. Okay, somebody could be like just doing the most. But I'm I'm getting, you know, between you and whoever this is, I'm pulling into your energy because I feel them. <clears throat> There's a lot of miscommunication here in mind games and all that. You know, with that five of swords, that's definitely giving like, I feel like you, you're overcoming something here. I feel like it's been tough for you to like, let go of somebody that you love. Okay. That, that's what I'm saying. You just don't feel like it's going nowhere, you know? And I feel like, so, so I feel like you are kind of like standing up for yourself kind of, or just like, you're getting some sort of victory five of swords because you're defeating this energy. You're overcoming challenges when it comes down to whatever this is. For some of you, there is like somebody distracting this person or distracting you. There's like a bully somewhere. Somebody is need needing to have the confidence to stand up for themselves or whatever this is. But I feel like you defeated it though. Yeah, now your soul tribe can come in. Yeah, and Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Let's see, what's the star in reverse? Between you and somebody, though, there's a communication issues. And this is why you feel like things are not going nowhere. Because somebody's pride or their ego is just too big. What's the star in reverse? So they have a problem with vulnerability. Okay. Yeah, five, yeah, five of one. There's competition. There's fighting. I felt like there was somebody else here. Or this could just be like inner frustration. This could be like somebody frustrated with themselves or whatever. Someone could have a Leo Saturn placement. Yeah, so there's like fighting or petty shit going on or something. I feel like somebody's just in the wrong environment too. They, they're having a hard time healing. But I feel like someone is trying to <clears throat> walk away from something that's distracting them from the love that you and this person, that you and them have, right? Someone, yeah, the hyphen in reverse. Yeah. Someone's going to have to be a little bit, like step out of their comfort zone and do something that is like it's it's gonna cause controversy so that's what the challenge is here is what it looks like they're trying to or you're trying to leave something what's the fool in reverse okay yeah ace of pentacles in reverse taurus virgo capricorn could be significant what's this ace of pentacles in reverse I feel like a new beginning here, yeah, King of Swords could be dealing with an Aquarius. A new beginning here has been delayed. There could be something going on in court too, where there could be a big loss of money. Somebody could be going through a divorce or there could be fights and shit about money and whatever. Somebody did something reckless here with the fool in reverse that has got them blocked now. <laughs> so now they got to like have confidence to push through whatever this is um i feel like this person could be quite aloof very cold towards you it could be because they're having problems with their finances they hopped into something and they got themselves caught up here and i feel like they're in despair okay your person is in despair this whoever this is that's fighting you guys be saying five 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 whoever this is that's fighting with you, yeah, Eight of Cups, or however it's going on your person, they in despair too. Okay, they in despair. So this is why this shit, this love you have for this person is is real. But this and this is all because this person here loves you or want to be with you. So they, they could be leaving somebody. <clears throat> okay. There could be a loss of a uh yeah, somebody setting boundaries, King of Swords, but there could be a loss of a home, a job, money. Somebody here could even be going like bankrupt or homeless, like because of this love here. Like, wow, what's the endings card completely done? Some of y'all feel like your problems with this person is that they is that they're so aloof too. They're kind of like procrastinating on building something solid with you, and they keep handling you recklessly. And they keep I feel like there's a lot of inner 
frustration with this person. They frustrated with their situation now, but it's something that they put themselves in. <laughs> seven of Cups in reverse. Uh, Scorpio, Venus. Somebody could have what's endings with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the Hermit. Yeah. <clears throat> Virgo. So this could be... um. Somebody could be under investigation for some sort of like money or fraud or uh, scamming because someone here is very superficial and they're very materialistic. Yeah, somebody could be under investigation. But um, I'm more so getting like there's a big reality check or a wake up call here with the Seven of Cups. Okay, somebody getting ready to miss out on an opportunity. Seven of Cups in reverse. Let's talk about too, somebody being trapped. But I feel like when they do miss out on an opportunity, they're going to awaken. There's some sort of like enlightenment here with the hermit. Somebody here doing some soul searching, some shadow work or something like that. This person going to miss out on an opportunity too because they keep ghosting you. Yeah, it's becoming to be too much. Ten of Wands. I feel like you're tired of being ghosted here. This is not, I feel like this is not your battle here to fight. It's just not. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, money. Another card of money. Someone could have a Capricorn Mars here. Mm. So some sort of third party situation, like I said, th there's some sort of like collaborative effort. This is a collaboration. Definitely. This talks about learning, studying, though, learning from your mistakes. What's the what's the three of Pentacles? The emperor. Okay, yeah. So this could be a divine masculine. Your divine counterpart for some of you doesn't have to be. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. But yeah, this person here is seeing through some sort of illusion because they're they learning something. They're learning about their... For some of you, it's their work environment, how they make their money or something like that. They've ended something. I feel like they've ghosted somebody. Okay. Mm-hmm. Asia Cup. Somebody could be your person could be wanting to apologize to you or take you out somewhere or do something. Who does Emperor? Four of Cups. Who the Emperor with the Four of Cups? Okay. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody is just very materialistic. This person, is, is, they work hard, though. They do work hard, I feel. But, um... I just got something else. Yeah, the ex, still not over it. Okay. Um, okay, let me, let me say what I'm thinking now first, right? For some of you... There's this ex here, your ex or your person's ex. They're trying to block the, your love life. They they just don't want you to be in love. I feel like they've tried to like set something up. Now, I don't know what. But it's something here about superficiality and materialism. It's something toxic too. It's, it's some bullshit here. Now, this could be because you're getting love in your life. Like, or you are loved by a lot of people or whatever. I feel like somebody's just mad because you're ending <laughs> ending something with them. Yeah. So somebody is discontent, dissatisfied, so they're trying to control the situation. They could be working other with other people here. Or something like that to keep you like isolated or bound to them or something. Or this could be your person's ex, but if this is your divine masculine with the emperor upright, there, this Knight of Pentacles in reverse is definitely... This is somebody that doesn't feel too skilled. Yeah, it's like they, they don't feel skilled enough or they don't have the money or something like that. They're, they're just... They make a lot of promises that they do not keep, okay? So this is this is causing a stalemate with the Four of Cups. They're really self-absorbed right now or just very, like, thinking about themselves. They keep, you know what I'm saying, being in and out. I'm getting with this. And then they're really focused on their money, their business or whatever with the Emperor, I feel like this is more so them being like trying to control some shit. And now with the Seven of Cups, they're going to get a reality check. Yeah. And I feel like the reality check, it might be with you walking away or something. Like you're going to completely end something with them. And that's when they're going to like learn their lesson. Let me see. 
or something like that. What's this three of pentacles? Because there's this is like group effort or this is a third party. What's this three of pentacles right here specifically? The page of wands. So this person, I too feel like, or this is you, you know, flip the rose, <laughs> flip the rose guys. This could be you, divine masculine energy. Like you're coming to the realization of something. You're awakening, okay, and learning some sort of lesson here. But if this is about like money and uh, you finding your purpose with your career, I feel like you have good news with the three of pentacles page of wands. Okay, it's something good coming in for you with your money. Maybe you're going to have to collaborate or work with somebody. This is what they're supposed to be doing with your ass. I don't know. You know? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, a date, an offer. Some of you guys are getting ready to get married soon or, you know, well, later on down the line. I don't know. But definitely somebody's really good with their finances. A good businessman, businesswoman. I feel like your person here was working with the wrong people as far as money goes. They got caught up somewhere. Could be a Virgo too. Strong Virgo. This emperor is kind of like, yeah, the magician, your person, the page of swords. This emperor kind of gives me a leader, but they're a false leader. You know, it's kind of like giving that energy. This person here, they never finish what they started. They lack work ethic. Knight of Pentacles. Or this is them just not putting the work to this connection. For this connection here. They just not putting. And this is why you're completely done. So this is different scenarios. Flip it, switch it. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to stay on that forever. I can be on that forever and ever. But what's the hermit right here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. The Ten of Swords. What's the hermit with the Ten of Swords? Could be a Gemini. Could be another Gemini involved. The hangman. Okay, yeah. Um, could be dealing with a Pisces. So somebody, first of all, somebody is going within to release some sort of betrayal or backstabbing, like kind of like energy, right? For others of you, I feel for some of you, this could be your baby daddy. I got this. I think the same energy came out for Taurus. This could be your baby mama, baby daddy, or whatever that's in the way of your love life. They just don't want to see you happy because you sh you shut them out, so they feel uh, whoever this is is obsessive. They shut you out. So they could be working with like a group of people. This could be somebody that cloaks themselves. They could be in some sort of cult or they could do some sort of magic. They're trying to hex and curse something of yours to end something completely of yours or to end you completely for some of you. Okay, something like that. But the hangman, yes, yeah, like this is like kind of like basically being stuck, needing to release something, needing to let go of something. But I feel like this person, they have other things in mind. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they, they on some other shit. What's this ten of swords with this hangman? I don't know. I don't like this energy. Or this is what happened to your person, okay? And the reason why things are at a stalemate with you and them. But what's the ten of swords with the hangman? Okay, yeah. Page of Pentacles. Somebody, they, they dib and dab in, like, divination for sure. Page of Pentacles is, like, my divination card. Okay, somebody could be a tarot reader um, or they do something else in divination like magic. Okay, could be a Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, strong Virgo. Here we got Aries. They cloak themselves here. This could be some sort of secret society or whatever the fuck. Hmm. child <laughs> what the fuck so you could be awakening to whatever this is that this person is doing all right yeah because you could be a healer queen of pentacles ten of Pent pentacles i feel like that's you yeah knight of cups the sun your love life yeah making new friends meeting new people getting ready to settle down get married whoever this is i feel like this is a man that's doing this shit right here Give me more on this Ten of Swords, the Hangman, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Somebody here has hexed <clears throat> or cursed your, like, <clears throat> yeah, your love, like.
because you're like completely done with them. This person could spy on you spiritually and all that shit. Yeah, you're very independent. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Devil, the Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be paying somebody to like do this. This is weird. Okay. You guys could be High Priestesses. You could be a witch too. I feel like whoever this is could be a dark witch. Either they're a dark, they're a warlock, they're a man, a wizard, or this could be a dark witch as a woman. Flip it, switch it. Somebody here could be trying to make some sort of sacrifice too. Maybe they could have tried to sacrifice you or whatever the case. Okay, because they owe. They owe the devil back or something like that. It's something that's just very spiritual about this reading today. Okay. And it's dark, might I add. Hmm. Yeah, something, you know, something can barely even get off the ground here. Like with anybody. Somebody here is is seeing, they're looking into something. I don't know if they're like, they're divination spying. They're doing something to spy on you, mirror magic. They're doing something to see what you got coming in so they could end it. That's their little plan, I, I swear. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. Somebody here wants you to give up or like on yourself or just yeah ace of swords the truth yeah ace of swords six of swords i feel like you have clarity about what this is though because there is something new coming in this could be a new offer something small but it's going to build i feel like it's going to build into something good but i feel like somebody here could be doing love they're trying to bring you back in yeah spirit guys with the lovers and the tower so yeah divine intervention it's like nobody not this fucking time because <laughs> spirit is stepping in because there's something that's meant for you and somebody's trying to take it away. It's 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 your soulmate, a a um a kindred spirit, new friends, um, you being balanced within yourself, your feminine, your masculine being balanced out. Something here is falling apart or it's getting ready to fucking backfire. Whatever this magic is, because it's here, your spirit team is not playing. Yeah, two of cups, the seven of pentacles, queen of wands, you can have fire in your chart. Two of Cups, yeah, the Four of Wands, the Will of Fortune. For some of you, this is a twin. For others of you, this could just be a nice relationship coming in, um, a community of people that you resonate with, you know what I'm saying? But Two of Cups and the Four of Wands is marriage, okay? It's like a nice relationship. Will of Fortune, something that's destined to come towards you. Eight of Wands, okay, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this King of Wands, this Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Whoever this warlock as man is, bro, this Leo. Somebody could be on the Virgo Leo cuss. Child, this person is so fucking hung up on you. They're so obsessed. And they just sit back and watch you and shit like that. They're trying to see if you're with somebody. And I feel like you're quiet. You're not saying anything. They know that you're manifesting a person. <laughs> yeah, the Magician, the Hierophants. The justice <laughs> okay yeah taurus here libra i just saw child what's what's self-destruct mode four of pentacles in reverse could be done with a capricorn you have that in your chart two of wands and the four of pentacles in reverse yeah so that's like releasing letting go yeah somebody from your past is just so heartbroken this could be somebody you got kids with an ex they are so heartbroken that you're really releasing them like for good. There's no chance of them, you want to go back. I feel like it's been over a long time ago and they still holding on, child. That's their fucking problem. It's a crazy ass person. <laughs> I don't know. That emperor is not giving me a boss. It's giving somebody here. It's, that's, that's a warlock. Okay. Or, or they some sort of like leader of a coven, a cult or something. I don't know. But... The Four of Pentacles is releasing, is letting go of people, places, and things, or whatever. Excuse me. Um, to prepare for your future. Two of Wands. Some of you guys are moving. Excuse me. You could be making a big purchase, but this could be talking about like a partnership. Something coming in too about your business. Some of y'all are like investing in a new business or something like that. You're paying out a lot of money to open like a shop or buying like tools and getting you know different things to um 
use different products and things like that to use for your business or something okay but the two of one let's see what's the two of wands what's the two of wands i could talk about like waiting or anticipating something what's the two of wands though or trying to choose between two paths the queen of cups it kind of like wants to come out in reverse who does queen of cups two of swords in reverse yeah so you're gaining clarity about something there's something that's coming out yeah, the magician, the hierophant. So you, I feel like you're finally getting a lesson. It's some sort of lesson here. Whoever this is, is, whether they're a warlock or whatever the fuck they are, they're a catalyst for your growth, for sure, especially spiritually. So they're challenging you spiritually, knowing damn well. I feel like oh, maybe they didn't know, or maybe you didn't know your own power, but you you successfully, I feel like, defeated they ass, and they still keep trying to like come up against you or something. Someone could have a Libra moon here. But the Two of Swords is... Uh, Something being revealed. This could talk about anxiety. You releasing anxiety or letting go of anxiety. Because I feel like whoever this is is a spiritual narcissist. They make you feel a certain way. Like when you're around them. Um, people that like spiritually attack you like this or whatever. Or gaslight you. They make you feel a sense of like nervousness. Okay. So this could be you releasing like anxiety or just feeling anxious all the time. Your decision has a clear decision has been made. You're focusing on the future. Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, you guys could definitely be psychic here. Very intuitive. I feel like I feel like you're open hearted too. You're opening up to new experiences, to a new partnership because you're releasing something from the past. It's either they stupid ass or something. It's a, it's a certain weakness of yours that needed to be released that this person preyed on or something like that it could be about your emotional state your uh it could be like emotional immaturity or maybe your abandonment wounds inner child healing something like that okay what's this two of swords in reverse here specifically the six of cups yeah you made a clear decision about somebody from your past now this could be somebody you got kids with or somebody else i don't know but like i said though inner child healing Yeah, I feel like you're coming out of some sort of stalemate or stagnation. Mm. Yeah, this, yeah, Four of Pentacles opening up, releasing, sharing. Okay, Six of Cups is sharing too. Let's see. Somebody is, uh, somebody from your past is emotionally like, they're in mental and emotional like turmoil. What's the two of swords in reverse spirit? One more. The six of cups. Could be a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, the world. That's you though. You've, you've closed out a cycle with your past. The tower. Yeah. Nine of cups. So whatever weakness, I feel like whatever weakness this person studied here about you, it has been healed. You've healed it. You're now emotionally mature. You went from the like the six of cups, gullible, being naive or childish in a, in a way with your emotions or how you handle certain things to the queen of cups. And now you're planning for your future. Now a, a, a partnership can come in for you. I feel like, you know, it's something like that in the world here. That's the goal that's been achieved. Something has been completed here. You could be getting some sort of enhancement with your like gifts or your gift your gifts are amplifying or you're you're able to see things much clearer now. It's something that this person was doing to you spiritually. Okay, yeah, spirit guys, three of cups. That had you in a in a cycle over and over again. And these could be like like say if you did meet somebody or whatever, you connected. <laughs> like for example, if this was your twin or whatever, you connected to this person. This karmic masculine, whoever this warlock is, if you're a woman, they've been sitting in the background doing shit to your love. Like they've been blocking this masculine, this twin flame of yours and your soulmates, like anybody else that you could potentially like could be your destined person or whatever the hell. Like they've been blocking your whole love life. And then maybe your divine masculine person or whatever it could have been blocking theirs or something. But this is all a catalyst for your growth here, Gemini. I feel like you've you've done the work, just period. Huh. Yeah, what's this? The devil in the spirit gods card. That's what I'm saying. That that's exactly what I'm saying. This could be multiple people in on this, or they they have some sort of third party that they work with 
whoever your ex is like bitch you can have whoever you want but i can't have real love that's because they're not happy there they want you they're obsessed this person is demonic as fuck whoever the fuck this is what's the four of pentacles in reverse your person's karmic that your karmic yeah eight of cups yeah, releasing, letting go of emotional immaturity. Ace of, Ace of Swords, the truth. Yeah, it's something that had you stagnant. It had you stuck. Definitely, maybe, definitely insecurities. Aban yeah, the moon, insecurities. Abandonment issues, fear. Um, with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, someone could have a Pisces, Saturn. What's this? What's, uh, what's this? Um... Yeah, the four of wands in reverse. What's this eight of cups in reverse? Yeah, okay, wow. Four of wands came out upright. Stability. Yeah, security. Let me see. What's this eight of cups in reverse with the four of wands? For some of you, I'm getting trust the message. Yeah. Um, this could be about a twin flame connection, right? There was some sort of spell or hex or curse here that had you stuck in a connection that's not meant for you. That's not your, that's not your partner you're going to settle down with, right? So like, say if you have a twin flame and you're thinking like, oh, we're going to be together, we're going to be together, we're going to be together. But that's really not the person you're like meant to have babies with and be with and all that. Because twin flames could be platonic, right? I'm on a twin flame journey. I'm learning too. So, I mean, whatever. But twin flame, they don't have to be the person that you're going to end up with. You feel what I'm saying? It, it just depends on your contract that was written up for you or whatever you signed up to do in a past life. I don't know. Nobody really knows, to be honest. We're all just here and we just have to go off what our intuition is telling us, I'm guessing. But um, especially, you know, for those of you that do have twins. But I feel like... This is your twin too. They keep ghosting you. Somebody keeps their twin keeps ghosting you and shit like that. But I feel like there's a karmic here that's been doing spell work. Now I don't know if your twin was before they got awakened, if they were in karmic energy and they did some sort of spell work. I don't know what the fuck they did. But I'm feeling like there's something karmic here. Just period. Whatever it may be. Only you know. <laughs> um what's this for one specifically? Somebody here could be faking their happiness. What's the four? Yeah, because that's that's exactly what the Eight of Cups is. What's the four of wands? Okay, justice. Yeah. Libra energy. For some of you, somebody here could be opening up to you. Someone could be returning and coming back. And there's going to be justice in, in a connection. This could be a reunion for some of you, right? For others of you, this is just you that have, you've achieved a goal here. And now karma can like step in. Maybe go watch Taurus's reading. It's giving Taurus a little bit. Maybe Libra too. I don't know. But things are now balanced out here because you've achieved something. The Four of Wands is a celebratory card. This could talk about too, like, um, somebody could be eloping. This could talk about, too, there's some sort of truth and clarity here, but this could talk about um, the four of wands, security, and just um, what am I trying to say? I don't even know. <laughs> some of y'all could be purchasing a home. Okay. But I feel like you're getting justice. You're getting karmic justice for something that happened. Where all this hexing and all this cursing bullshit yeah, nine of swords, the two of cups, two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody juggling you and or whatever. Some of y'all have been nervous about dating in the past too because of this energy. Like you've been nervous about dating in the past or this is your person. But I feel like now you're going to try to like be open to new new things and just set clear boundaries with people and things like that like i feel like you're releasing the baggage the burdens whatever and somebody is nervous about that somebody is nervous that you're going to be in a nice relationship bitch and i feel like you are a twin flame or not i don't know like what's some sort of community was in on this too they they guess all they asking ready to get karma if this is like your ex and they dealing with an, 
with a karmic that's in on this too. We're trying to ruin your life because they sat up here and pillow talk with a karmic. They getting their fucking karma too. I don't know, but all that shit is being released though. You're releasing all of it because somebody here is stuck. For some of you, they stuck in a marriage. Somebody is stuck in a marriage somewhere. But it's been affecting you because for some of you, that could be your twin that's stuck. I don't know. You know, only you do. But what's wishing, hope, and dreaming? The temperance in reverse. Let's see. What's wishing, hope, and dreaming? Could be a Sagittarius here. The Ten of Cups. Somebody want their family back. <laughs> Whoever this is, they want their family back, bro. Um, Someone have a Pisces Mars. So the temperance in reverse, it's like hasty energy. definitely like rushing something it's like maybe you're, you're being impatient right now gemini or this could be self-indulgence let me see what's this temperance in reverse queen of pentacles what's the temperance in reverse with the queen of pentacles the five of cups yeah somebody is like antagonistic i feel like that's an antagonistic energy Whoever the fuck this is, like, what the fuck? Someone is, like, sad or upset or mad. They in regret about you. Like, what? Three of Swords, yeah, they sad. What's the Queen of Pentacles? They still, I feel like, what's who the Queen of Pentacles right here? The Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords, yeah, you're resting, you're healing. There's some sort of clarity that you're getting. Okay, you're awakening here. Or you've been awake and shit. Some of y'all could be healers. Okay, you're healers, you're psychic, something. But um, someone could have a Libra Jupiter, Scorpio Mars. Yeah, I just feel like you're resting, you're healing, you're making progress on your journey. Um, I feel like too, though, you're kind of like rushing the process though because i feel like you guys are ready to like be in a, a nice relationship it's coming with the ten of clubs that's like a soulmate a faded connection having more kids if you are up for that or marriage or whatever you know but that's like ultimate fulfillment that's happiness so some of you guys just need to be patient right if you're wishing for something i feel like you wish for it, but you need to do the work for it too though right I don't know, but I feel like that's somebody antagonizing you, though. When I just feel like you want peace and solitude, somebody, excuse me, somebody is still crying and sad about you and all that. And I feel like you're trying to move forward. Someone is just sad because they know that something is coming. What's this Ten of Cups? So they're going to try to antagonize you or get on your fucking nerves to throw you off balance. What's the Ten of Cups? Wow, these people have lost their mind. Yeah, Ace of Wands, a new fucking beginning. Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, it's coming in. Knight of Cups, the Devil, the Eight of Wands. What's this? <laughs> What's the Ten of Cups with this Ace of Wands? And the Three of Wands, yeah. It's coming in, near future. <laughs> near, I'm telling you, it's coming in the near future. So, this person, I don't know if they're going to act a fucking fool or what. Or they already acting a fool. But there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning. And there's growth and expansion here, too. Some of y'all are expanding your family. You're going to end up pregnant. The Ace of Wands with the Ten of Cups. That's for some of you, not everybody. <laughs> so. And whoever the fuck this is here is going to just really. I feel like. I, I don't know. They're just going to try to get on your fucking nerves, bro. Whoever this is. I don't know. I hope this is not the future. Lord. <sighs> or they just, I mean, they sad right here. But I feel like they do little shit to just, just to antagonize you or get on your fucking nerves. What's uh? You can have a family with this person already. Y'all can have kids. Ciao. What a... Uh, Whoever this is, they feel like they can control you or they call the shots or whatever this is. They can't even control their own fucking raggedy ass life. What's this for Gemini Spirit? 
somebody is trying to ruin your fucking love life here. That's just sad. Whoever your baby daddy is, because it's a man, it's men. I, I mean, it's women. But the man, the energy I'm getting off the man is ridiculous. What's um this for Gemini? Damn. All right, so we have balance and yeah, karma. They're going to get karma as soon as they try to do the shit. Yeah, union and in sync. So you're coming into union with somebody. You're getting ready to set her down. Do whatever you're going to do over here. <laughs> like So it says balancing. Remorseful through actionable change. Wants to undo the wrongs and do right by you. Understanding what you put in. You get out. Karmic justice. Yeah. I'm trying to balance the scales of my life and our connection. I took from you more than you were able to give. And I used you for my own benefit. I now understand this was unhealthy and unfair to you. I'm sorry. third party situation main character or the side piece another person got in the way of the relationship feeling betrayed and second guessing self-worth so some of you i mean some of you ain't dealing with nobody there is somebody from your past though that put you in a third party situation that person could be hexing and cursing your karmic could be doing the same shit so you're definitely getting karmic justice for that and that could come in in the way of like you starting new having a new beginning with somebody else okay because i'm not really seeing no reconciliation energy i'm just saying that you're being attacked that's what i'm saying you know so it says i made you feel inadequate because i chose someone over you i regret the pain i have caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs you didn't you didn't deserve being treated as an option yeah karma is whatever mm. Cycles, dysfunctional, unstable, hurtful, toxic, same scenarios keep occurring, but unable to learn necessary lessons. Yeah, unpredict I mean, predictable, repetitive cycle of breaking up and getting back together again. We keep replaying the same story over and over again, and it never ends well. When are we going to do better so we can be better? <laughs> you know, don't take this as like those messages coming from a specific person. Take that as like focus on you, okay? Focus on you and your message. But if it resonates for the other person, then take that. You know what I mean? But um, what else, spirit? Damn, this car's coming out in threes. <laughs> Intuition, yeah, light bulb moments. Light bulb moments of realization, direct knowledge from source without rational thought, a deep knowing and understanding without evidence. Hmm. Yeah, your abilities could be increasing. But it says, it finally dawned on me why I feel so drawn to you and why our connection is so intense and scary. I'm starting to understand my, my fears and my overwhelming emotions towards you. Okay, so that could be somebody feeling that way. It says, difficult differences, differences of opinions and ideas and love, differences in status, money, power, or culture. One awakened while the other is unawakened. Yeah, for some of you, you and this person can have different religions for sure that somebody could be a damn dark witch and you could be a white witch. <laughs> like somebody could be religious. Maybe you could be more spiritual. I don't know. But I feel like somebody is in competition with you because of that. Whoever this is. Because I feel like that's your karmic ass warlock baby daddy. Or this could be somebody's dark witch ass baby mama. I don't know. Our differences drove us apart and it angered me that you didn't understand where I was coming from. It still pains me. We can't come to an agreement even if we love each other. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's you and a you and a karmic soulmate of some sort. Okay, like it says, drinking the Kool Aid, listens to others and disregards their own feelings, knowingly goes along with others, with other people's plans and ideas without thinking of their own well being. <laughs> I followed blindly to what everyone else was telling me. They made me believe our connection wasn't real and that it was just a waste of my time. I know now that that was untrue. Mm. I feel like you're letting that shit go. Damn. <laughs> Child, what the fuck? But I feel like you're letting that shit go and you're letting this... um Something is messy, honey. You're letting that shit go and you're letting this karmic... Your karmic exes go all they ass. They can just... And this is why karma is coming in. Karma, I feel like it's going to play out by you being in a new connection. Just period. I'm trying to figure out how these cards are going. Yeah, karma is going to play out by you being in a totally new connection. Okay, and starting a family and settling down and doing whatever the fuck it is you want to do. 
Period. And can't nobody control you and tell you what to do. So if somebody's trying to do that, then they have fucked up. So yeah, let's see, child. Cards, all the cards and fell on the flow. What's um what's difficult differences? What is that? Masquerading attempts to conceal their feelings and authentic intentions, feels powerless, and may resort to lying to gain greater control over their environment. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like that. I am wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I am alone, I think about you and realize I was my true, authentic self when I was with you. Yeah. I feel like somebody here is just mad at themselves. Yeah. Now you're self, now you're loving yourself and somebody is mad because you're trying to get away from them. So now they probably talking shit and whoever this is is insecure as fuck. They, they insecure. What else for difficult differences with the masquerading? Free will, yeah. Independently taking action regardless of effects. Having the capacity to make their own decisions without constraints from others. That's you. I feel like that's you. I want to be able to make my own decisions and not feel bounded by our connection nor the opinions of others. I'm not ready to commit and I'm unsure of what the future holds. I feel like that's you. Somebody here is trying to stop you from being able to make uh, decisions in your love life. Like they, they want to be a part of your life, but still... This is somebody here. I just feel like they're a dark ass witch. <laughs> I'm just going to say it like that. Okay. They just want to be able to control you. And they mad at themselves. They beating themselves up for fucking this connection up. So now they just, they just wilding out. I don't know. Uh, what's this drinking the Kool-Aid here? Well, this person here, this is your twin. They wanted to do whatever the fuck they wanted to do, hide their feelings, and they got into some shit that they that they now have to deal with. What's drinking the Kool-Aid? Yeah, future focus, strong sense of self and feeling hopeful, awaken and being aligned with, with connection, positive outlook on life, and focusing on the future. I am devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it. Yeah, so this person, for some of you, somebody here wants to return. After listening to all this fucking gossip and disregarding their own feelings about you and judging you the right way. This could also just be you here, Gemini, focusing on the future because of whatever this is that somebody is doing to you behind your back. Gossiping and starting shit because they mad at you and fucking stop dealing with their stupid ass. Like, what was Intuition. Union and in sync. Then we have cosmic love. Working in perfect rhythm with each other, feeling seen, heard, valued, respected, and cherished. Fully present with that person, mind, body, and spirit. Okay. I want to commit to you. I want to hold your hand in sickness and in health. I want to walk into the sunset with you and never look back. I need to release certain commitments and fully commit to you. So this could be somebody's intuition here. Tap they're tapping into their intuition. For some of you, that could be a new person with that Ace of Wands and that Ten of Cups over there. What's the intuition with Union and Insane? Magical and powerful. New beginnings and alignment. I'm telling you. For some of you, this is new. Because you're you're tapping in now. Your intuition. You're having light bulb moments or something. Right? So don't, that's what I'm saying. Don't pay attention to all this reading down below. But I read it because it can help somebody. Yeah. And then we have victim mentality. Glutinous gossip. That's what I'm saying. Then we have twin flame behind that. Illusions. Infatuation. Yeah. New beginnings and alignment. Taking action towards destiny. Creator of own reality through powers of manifesting. I used to limit my goals and place myself in a box based on what I was told I was capable of. Since meeting you, my views have expanded and I am trying to dream big. Because of you, I know I deserve more. So yeah, some of you guys, this is your person. Hopefully they get their shit together and come back, child, I guess. Yeah, patience. You might need to have patience and all this extra shit, right? Yeah, and separation behind that. New beginnings. Faithful encounter. Aries could be significant. Ghosted. Somebody could have ghosted an Aries. Okay. But yeah. So some of y'all, I mean, it's 50 50. This could be <clears throat> your person getting their shit together and coming towards you. 
you know, let's hope and pray if y'all still want that person. But for others of you, there could be no. Okay, so this was your reading. <laughs> I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.